student uh, in a previous lecture we discussed about the cauchy integral theorem and some numerical example based on a cauchy integral theorem today we discuss one another theorem in sequence of a cauchy integral theorem means a cauchy gauss theorem so first we discuss uh, what are the necessary and sufficient condition uh, of a cauchy integral theorem so what is the necessary condition of a cauchy integral theorem means uh, if we categorize means the cauchy integral theorem into two part necessary and sufficient part necessary condition necessary condition is a what necessary condition is a domain is a simply connected domain domain is simply connected simply connected simply connected simply connected this one is the word this one is a necessary condition now what is the sufficient condition sufficient condition is a there is a two sufficient condition in a cauchy integral theorem first one is a fz fz is analytic 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 in domain d in domain d domain d means a simply connected domain domain d second one f dash z is continuous 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 in domain d in domain d in domain d then what will happen then integrate to c fz dz equal c what is the c c is a closed contour closed contour closed contour inside the domain d inside inside domain so this one is a cauchy integral theorem so means a necessary condition if a domain d then domain is a simply connected sufficient condition fz is analytic in a domain d f dash z is a continuous in a domain d then integrate over c fz dz equal c c is a what c is a closed contour so what's cauchy gauss theorem cauchy gauss relaxes one sufficient condition of a cauchy integral theorem means he relaxes this condition means uh, it's not necessary uh, to show that for the sufficiency f dash z is a continuous in a domain d so what cauchy gauss suggested cauchy cauchy gauss theorem cauchy gauss proved that i'm not going to prove the theorem only we use the statement of a cauchy gauss theorem cauchy gauss says that what is the necessary condition necessary condition is a what necessary condition is a domain is a simply connected domain is simply connected domain is simply connected simply connected simply connected and sufficient condition is a what sufficient condition is a only one sufficient condition he relax means uh, he relax this condition you may relax the condition of a cauchy integral theorem f dash is a continuous in a domain d so only one sufficient condition f z is analytic f z is analytic analytic in domain in domain d then what will happen then then integrate to c fz dz equal 0 where c is the what c is a closed contour closed contour contour inside inside domain d inside domain d so 
Yeah, simple language means uh, in a form of a, you may combine this necessary and sufficient condition. What we write, uh, what we say, means the uh, F Z is analytic in a simply connected domain. Then these two statement in a one line. So what is the statement of a theorem? A statement of a theorem. A statement of a theorem of a Cauchy Gauss theorem. What is the statement? If if F Z is analytic, analytic, analytic in a simply connected domain, simply simply connected domain D, simply connected domain D, then then integrate over C fz d is equal c where c is a what c is a closed contour closed contour contour inside inside c inside not c inside d inside a domain d inside domain d so this one is a statement of a Cauchy Gauss theorem means uh, if we try to solve the numerical example so there is a no need to prove that f dash z is a continuous in a closed in, uh, in a domain d only need to show that if f z is analytic in a domain d then integrate over c f z d z equal 0 what is the meaning of this one means uh, what is the c c is a closed contour inside the c if there is a no any point where the function is a not analytic, then integrate over C F Z T Z equal C. So this one is a word, this one is a statement of a Cauchy Gauss theorem. So next we are going to means extend the Cauchy integral theorem for the multiply connected domain. Means this one is only applicable for the simply connected domain. Then how we convert the doubly connected do domain into a simply connected domain, triply connected domain into a simply connected domain and similarly multiply connected domain into a simply connected domain. Once we convert the doubly connected domain into a simply connected domain then be able to apply what? Then be able to apply a Cauchy integral theorem. So extension of a Cauchy integral theorem for the multiply connected domain. Multiply connected domain means uh, we convert the multiply connected domain into a simply connected domain because we only apply the Cauchy integral theorem if domain is a what? Domain is a simply connected domain. So next, uh, we try to write what? We try to solve. Now we'll uh, discuss about a Cauchy integral theorem for multiply connected domain. Means uh, how we express means uh, derive an expression for the multiply connected domain. So Cauchy integral theorem, you may also say extension of a Cauchy integral theorem extension of a Cauchy integral theorem could be right here extension extension uh, not here if we write uh, not extension here if we write what Cauchy integral theorem for multiply connected domain for multiply connected domain multiply connected domain multiply connected connected domain multiply connected domain. So how we extend this one? So we extend this one. Uh, suppose the domain is a doubly connected. First we take a doubly connected domain. First we take a doubly connected domain. Doubly connected domain. Doubly connected domain. Connected domain. Doubly connected domain. So suppose here, this one is a e curve C means a, this one and here this one is another curve and orientation of a, this one is a, this and here this one is a C. Now this one is a doubly connected domain. This one is a doubly connected domain D1, this one is a one domain and this one is a another domain. This one is a doubly connected domain. 
So now we try to convert this doubly connected domain into a simply connected domain. So how we convert this one? We here, suppose we add here one bidirectional path, bidirectional path, bidirectional path, and suppose this cut is a what? A B. A B. This cut is a what? This cut is a A B. Now, if we closely observe, if we uh, go more inside this figure, then here we add one from A to B, one path from A to B and another path from B to A. So if we uh, draw this uh, figure, this doubly connected domain like this one, then this one is a more clear okay, how we convert this one is a, into a simply connected domain. Now this one become a simply connected domain by adding this path A to B and B to A. Now this become what? This become look like this one. Suppose we start from here, here and this become here and this one is a one path and here and here this one is a one path. Suppose this one is a path. This one is a path. Now, what is the orientation of this one? This one is a C1 and this one is a what? This one is a C. This one is a C. Now, and this one is a what? This one is a B. B and this one is a A. So, here this one, in this way, we started from this one. Suppose the orientation of a B A is a this one. B A and this one is a C and from here A is the orientation. Orientation one is a outward and second one have a inwards. So this one is a A B. Now if we closely observe this one, this one is a what? This one is a simply connected domain. This one is a what? This one is a simply connected domain. This reason is a what? This reason is a simply connected domain. If we expand this figure, then this become what? This become a simply connected domain. This become a simply connected domain. Means uh, we convert the doubly connected domain into a simply connected domain. But what is the contour? What is the closed smooth curve? Now closed smooth curve become B to A, then C, then A to B, then minus C1. This one is a what? This one become a contour C. Now we able to apply what? We able to apply a Koch integral theorem. Why? Because we convert the doubly connected domain into a simply connected domain. Now, once we converted this one is a, into a simply connected domain, then what is the contour? Contour C become what? C is a closed path if we started from B. If we started from B, B to A, this one B to A, B A plus we write this one. Orientation of this one is anti-clockwise and here we write this one is a V A plus C. Then A to B plus A B then C1. Then we reach at which point? At the starting point. Then it's become what? It's become a closed contour. So here this one is a C1 but what is the orientation? Orientation of this one is a here a inverse of a C1. So here we write what? Minus C1. So this one become what? This one become a closed curve C. This one is become a closed contour. This one become a closed contour and this domain become a simply connected domain then according to the Cauchy integral theorem fz dz equal what? C. If fz is a what? fz is the analytic inside a simply connected domain D. Here this one is a analytic in this region, analytic in this region but this one is not a simply connected domain. Cauchy integral theorem only applicable well, if the domain is a what? Simply connected domain. Now we convert this one into a simply connected domain. Now fz is analytic in a simply connected domain and what is the contour? Contour become b a plus c plus a b minus c1. Now what is the value of this one? Value of this one becomes 0. Now we simplify this one and if you closely observe b a and a b. 
the path b a and a b only orientation is a different only direction is a different so if we write this one means i integrate b a f z dz plus integrate over c f z dz plus integrate over a b f z dz plus integrate over minus c1 f z dz and what is the value of this one value of this variable g so b a and a b have a opposite direction so this one and this one cancel out because this become minus of a b a minus of a minus b a then this one this one cancel out so what is the value of a and minus c1 we may write minus c1 is the minus of a integrate over c1 f z t z so here integrate over c f z d z minus integrate over c1 f z d z equal what equal c then if we simplify this one what will happen the result become integrate over c f z f z d z equal integrate over c1 f z d z f z d z so this one is a what this one is a for doubly connected domain this one is a cauchy integral extension of a cauchy integral theorem for the doubly connected domain now if this one is a triply connected domain means a domain is like this one means a this one is a domain this one is a c and here there is a two reason two domains first one i have a c1 and second one have a what c2 c2 now similarly here we add what here we add one another path means a to b and b to a in a bidirectional path and here also a bidirectional path from c to d bidirectional path c to b and in a similar manner we able to convert this one into a simply connected domain by choosing the suitable path here like this one we able to convert this one into a simply connected domain once we able to convert this one into a simply connected domain then we say that according to the cauchy integral theorem what is the value in a similar manner this we come integrate over c f z d z equal what integrate over c1 f z d z plus integrate over c2 f z d z now in a similar manner suppose there is a this one is a multiply connected domain means uh, inside this there is a n uh, n separate domain so similarly suppose this one is a this one is a reason having a how many number of inside simply connected domain this one is the first one suppose this one is a c1 second one suppose this one is what c2 c2 and similarly suppose here this one is what this one is a cn means this one is a multiply connected domain how many number of connected domain inside the domain inside this domain there is an domain so an orientation of this one is what the orientation of this one is a c then this may be converted into a like this one integrate over c f z d z f z d z equal integrate over c1 f z d z plus integrate over c2 f z d z up to integrate over c n f z d z f z d z so this one is a what this one is a extension of a cauchy integral theorem for the multiply connected domain this one is the what this one is a extension for the multiply connected domain so so this one is a cauchy integral theorem for multiply connected domain